Welcome. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Um, I wanted to pop on and answer a couple of questions that I've gotten recently. Um, the biggest one being about trauma and it's getting a lot of press, um, especially, you know, we're just a couple of days out from the shooting in Michigan and that is kicking up a lot of response for people. So I wanted to be sure to, to just bring to you some ideas about what trauma is, what post-traumatic stress disorder is and what complex post-traumatic stress disorder is so that everybody's sort of working from the same framework okay i even wrote it down because i didn't want to get it all bungled up on you so trauma is in a nutshell trauma or to say that something was a traumatic event is any event that activates your nervous system that gets you a little bit on edge now, maybe that isn't a big, huge thing like a mass shooting, and I sincerely hope it's not for you. Maybe it's something like going to the dentist. Maybe when you went to the dentist, that felt scary or awful. It is also, um, so it overwhelms the system and it becomes an, a, a point that creates emotional upset or physical injury. Okay, so you got that? So we're, we've got two basic pieces that give you an idea if an event is traumatic. Does it overwhelm us? And does it create a, an emotional upset or a physical injury? Now again, I really want to be clear because we've talked about this in other places or I've talked about it in other places if you've been uh, watching other blogs or what have you that I've done. Um, that doesn't have to be something that other people say, oh yes, that's obviously traumatic. If you felt like it produced an injury, if you felt like it was something that was emotionally difficult for you to manage, then it's traumatic, okay? So that's why I use the dentist example. There's a reason why I don't like going to a dentist. I've, I've never, not never, I now have a good dentist, so I'll put that caveat on there. Um, but if you've had prior experiences that were bad or that left you physically or emotionally injured, that qualifies as traumatic, okay? We then get into the difference of, is it a complex traumatic event or a simple traumatic event? And really the difference between the two is, have you previously experienced trauma as a child? Usually as a child. Complex PTSD has its roots in childhood. And the most defining feature of that is that it's a traumatic event or situation from which as a child, you felt that there was no escape possible. So if a six-year-old feels like, like the situation at home is pretty awful, um, it's full of tension, it's full of violence, it's inappropriate, all sorts of things. If they can't escape that and they have no way of processing what's going on or getting support for what's going on, that is then the groundwork and the foundational pieces for what could become complex PTSD in the future, okay? So I want you to be pretty clear about that. Simple PTSD doesn't mean that it's not a big deal, but generally what that is referring to is that it has its roots in the present day and not going back. Acute stress response, so I know I'm throwing a third one in there. Acute stress response is when something happens that is traumatic, but our response that, to that stress only lasts for about 29, 30 days. Any time beyond that, then we begin to move into PTSD territory. So keeping in mind that it's something in this event that overwhelms our system and creates an emotional or physical injury, that's basically what trauma is. Can you heal from it? Absolutely. Can you learn how to manage the side effects of it? Absolutely. Will this be something that will always dictate the course of your life? No, not if you get the help that you need but it is not something that just goes away on its own because we want it to, okay? So this is when I'm gonna go back to some of the things I've said in the past, but it is really good to get somebody on board or many people on board who can help you navigate the road ahead because you don't have to continue to live like this. You don't have to continue to live in pain or with some events that are maybe causing you flashbacks or difficulty sleeping or an inability to enter some situations because they feel too reminiscent of a situation that you don't wanna be in again. So there's lots of help out there. 
um, I would urge you to either seek it out or, or shout out to me and I'll be happy to help you find the help that is going to be good for you. Remember, as I've said in the past, it's not necessarily the skill set that a clinician brings to the table, but most of what makes that happen, that magic happen, is what's called the click effect. So do you and that therapist have a good rapport? Do you trust the therapist? Do you feel like they genuinely want to be helpful to you? All right? Okay. Hope you find that helpful to you. My name is Lisa Curtis. I am a licensed clinical social worker and a credentialed alcohol and substance abuse counselor. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. My email is lisacurtis445 at gmail. So L-I-S-A-C-U-R-T-I-S 445 at gmail.com. Okay, in the meantime, I hope you have a good one. Bye.